Oh my god. He finally came back. I've been waiting so long for this buck to come back. It's been a little while since we've been back on our main account here, and today we're back, but this time we're gonna be hunting for some whitetail with the M1 and hopefully the bow. And just to show you, we are on our main account. We're sitting here at level 60 and we have 403,987 cash. So we're definitely sitting pretty good. Now this first spot's actually a really good spot for Roosevelt elk, but I came here a couple different times and I have seen some whitetail here. So I thought, you know what, we're gonna check it out today. And sure enough, there are definitely some whitetail here and there's a really good buck right there, about 250 yards up. But there's also quite a few deer up in here. You can see right there, there's probably like four or five different deer and there might be a buck in there. I really don't know at this point. So yeah, we could take down this buck here at about 250, but then I really don't want to uh, risk our chance at possibly a giant buck being back in here. So what we might do is back up a little bit more to maybe 300. And I don't think that these deer are going to spook. Then we'll be able to swing over here and put out a couple calls and hopefully be able to see if there's a decent buck in there. So it's not the greatest angle, but we're about 300 yards out. And with the M1, we can definitely get a single lung on this buck here. It's going to be that one there, about 310. So we're pretty much going to hold right for the heart for 300. And that should be right where we want to be. That's going to be him right there. Should have been a good shot. Now the rest of them are going to be a little bit spookish, but they shouldn't go too far. You see, they're still sitting there. Well, we definitely see some more deer and there's our buck piled up right there. Uh, there is definitely another buck of interest right there. So I'm glad we got a little bit closer. And there's also another deer right here that I can't get a spotting on either. That's going to be the first buck right there. He's going to be about 180 out and the second buck's going to be right there. All right, here we go. That's it, that's it, that's it, no more. All right, so here's all three of our bucks right here. This is, I think, the first buck that we did get. He was a decent buck, not as big as I thought, and I think we hit, uh... Oh, you let me down a little bit there, M1. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, that's like splitting double lung all day long right there. We hit perfect. Yeah, too high for the heart, but I mean, that's vitals. The fact that it didn't hit anything, it does tend to happen sometimes. So I'll let it slide, I guess. But uh, then we'll grab this one, double lung at 185. That one was a single lung shot at 188 and we busted through the shoulder blade. So before we go to the next spot, I do want to show you where we just were. We were on the north end of the map, the north and north outpost here. There's a little lake right here and we have our tent set up right here. The white tail were right here from 1230 until 15. If you guys remember right, we were celebrating our 80,000 subscriber uh, stream here and there was three max weight white tail deer. We took down two out of the three. Well, technically we took down all three of them, but the last shot was not very good. Anyways, we're in that same exact location right now and all I've been seeing here lately is does. We have two does here. So at this point, I definitely want to take down both of these does because I feel like they are holding back from uh, these white tail bucks from coming back here. She's about 2.30 out. Okay, she's down. There's the other doe, 250 out on the trot. Uh, I don't really know where she's trying to get to. Well then, she just disappeared. Oh, there she is. We definitely need to take this doe down. Oh, that's a tough shot though. Can't really see her good enough for a shot there. Could try for a next shot. That'll do. That'll do. That will definitely do. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing if now that we took down both these does here, that hopefully some nice bucks will come back finally. Because like I said, there was definitely three max weight whitetail bucks here. Uh, like a 230, a 230, and a 217. So all of a sudden now all we have is does. And as we're heading over here, I'll show you the location. It is the Northern, Northern Outpost here. I actually have a zone on the left side, which is kind of rare. Usually white tail are on this side, but for me, I found them here. In order to get them, I have to actually go to the right, loop around and stop here. And then I can observe the bucks over here. Well, at least when there was bucks. We'll grab this one first. This is gonna be a left along at 235. 
And that was a perfect middle neck shot at 258 yards and she dropped right there. That's actually a really nice herd of whitetails there. They're about 350 yards out and that buck there kind of seems bigger than this one to be honest. But either way, they're both gold potential. So we definitely want to try and take both of them. They are perfectly broadside too, but 350 is a little ways away. So as we're getting closer, I'll show you where we're at here. We're south of the Belmont Railroad. I have a tent set up right here. I came over here to pick up a doe and they're feeding right at this little crossing right here from 15 until 2100. And that's gonna be as close as we can really get right there. Our buck is still bedded down though, which isn't exactly ideal, but we could definitely take this buck down at 330 for sure. Now we want to hold for the heart because we don't want to get any rays on it. What the heck just happened? <laughs> uh, 360, is that really 360? Maybe, maybe it is. Ah, uh, yeah, it's definitely 360. Oh man, I would have had that second buck too, but he started running. Where'd he go? Is that him? Come on, cut back, cut back. Uh, I can't really take that angle. All right, so here's going to be this buck, and that's going to be a 215 gold. Double lunged him at 348 yards. So yeah, the first shot we were holding for right here, right, for 330, and I bet we hit right here. <laughs> But anyways, the second shot definitely smoked him. Now this is kind of interesting. This spot here is actually a spot where there was only one location before. And now they split up into two zones. You can see I have a tripod there because I was trying to get a nice buck out of here. But there's one zone here, kind of a small buck in all does. But then the other zone is over here and that's a pretty good buck right there at 217. There's another buck there and there might be another decent one in there. I can't really tell at this point, but I do know we're definitely going to take down this buck at 220 and then try and follow up with this one probably or maybe the one next to him. Yeah, that'll work. Got a next shot. Dropped him. Perfect. Two awesome shots right there. And a doe taken off. We could take down one more, I suppose, but... Uh, it's really not, not necessary. So again, this is another one of those times where it is 1500. Actually, it's 1700 at night right now. I can come here several times during uh, 12 until 15 and I will not see a deer. And then I come here at 1530 and it's loaded with whitetail. In fact, there's two separate herds and yet Make that three separate herds, and that's kind of a giant, and so is that right there. Wow. Yeah, I uh, I don't even understand because I actually have a zone over there. I don't even have a zone. Oh, I do have a zone. Um, I have a zone right here from 12 until 15. So you would think that these same white tail here would come to the same spot, but that was just here a little while ago, and there was not even one single deer here at 12 o'clock or even 13 o'clock. But now there's a couple of beautiful whitetails out there. So, and these deer are actually coming back here. We got this deer here. We could probably take down that, but we're not going to. We're going to sit over here and try and get into the tripod, get a better view of uh, these two beautiful whitetails. So he's actually perfectly broadside and he's quartering away at 2.30. I think we're going to take this one first at 2.30 and then pull on the other buck after that. I think we might have made a heart shot on that buck right there because I hit super far back but he was quartering so much that I do think it might have hit something pretty good because he piled up and then this buck here did pile up as well so two awesome shots right there let's hop down and I love this time of day actually where the sun is shining it's kind of the sunset right now just uh, the scenery is incredible at this moment absolutely love coming during this time so we'll grab these two bucks here. Um, how did that end up happening? Okay then. <laughs> uh, I have to get a picture of this. I can't 
I can't remember the last time I've seen this happen. <laughs> that is so funny. Like, the fact that they're literally on top of each other. And not only that, you can see this buck's head sticking out. It's not like he's piled up and you can't see his face. Like, it's almost like he's posing for a picture. <laughs> but anyways, let's pick him up. And that was a spinal cord neck shot. That's the second one that we did get. And uh, we'll grab this one next. And that was a double lung shot at 217, a 189 whitetail buck there. So that's actually a decent buck. And that could come back a little bit bigger next time. Now the thing is we have to go all the way around here. Unless we might be able to cross right here. Um, Actually, I think we can cross right here. I never knew that we could cross right here before. Never even tried either. So that is actually amazing to know because it's going to save us from going another 200 yards that way all the way around. Nice little shortcut here directly right to these giant bucks. So that actually might be like a 230s buck because he does have a lot of tines on him. Yeah, he actually is going to be a 230s buck. That's a 229.3. I ended up hitting super far back, but because he was quartering so much away, we ended up getting kind of a perfect stomach, liver, and right lung at 230 yards. So 230 score on white tail at 230 yards right there. And I think that's our biggest buck of the day. So very cool. And then let's go over here and grab this buck. This is going to score. Holy, look at all the deer. Oh my God. That's a dime potential buck. Where in the heck did this thing come from? Like, where did he just come from? We were literally just sitting in that tripod and he was nowhere to be found. There are a ton of bucks over there. Even this buck, where'd this buck come from? It's another giant white tail buck. Unbelievable. I would absolutely love to try and take that down with a bow. But I don't know if he's quite big enough to be diamond. He's going to be close, but I really don't want to spend too much time on him. With an estimate of 283, even if he does score 283, that's going to be kind of a, a small, medium-sized diamond. But I would be super happy if we could get him. So let's pick this buck up. That's going to be a 214. Double lunged him at 206 yards out there. And I want to take a look at that shot. That's the second buck we did take and just smoked him with the M1. You see that clear double lung at 200 yards. Now that is effective. I just can't believe how all these deer came out of nowhere. Even that buck, that's a beautiful white tail there. But like, I'm kind of speechless right now. That is an incredible white tail buck. You know what? I kind of think that we got to try and get him with the bow. We only took down two deer out of that spot, right? So we could definitely take down one more. The only thing is... Where is he going? Um, Somehow we got to cross back over here. Ah, there he is right there. So we got lucky on this because he never even moved a muscle, pretty much. <laughs> And we have a perfect win. The only thing is he's actually sitting right on top of that tripod. Well, he's pretty much bedded right behind that tripod. But I mean, how perfect is this? We actually have full cover right here. We're less than 150 yards away from this giant dime potential white tail buck here. So we're going to tuck in here. And I think we're going to put out a call. Actually, we could probably get even closer. We could probably get to that next set of brush right there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I mean... What are the odds of that? A giant whitetail buck's gonna be bedded right underneath a tripod like that. That is so cool. Alright, so let's try and get closer. Okay, it looks like he's finally working his way in a little bit closer. Still 100 yards out, but at least he's sort of working his way this way. Like I said, we have an absolute perfect win. He's just gotta keep coming this way. Don't turn around. Why would you turn around if somebody's calling? Unless you're spooked. But you literally have no reason to be spooked at this point. Not even a tiny bit. Okay. What I'm actually about to do is just sneak all the way over there. <laughs> because 
This buck can't make up his mind what he wants to do. And he's a beautiful buck. So what we're going to do right now is something we should have done a long time ago. And I guess we shouldn't really have to do this, but we're going to belly crawl all the way over here and basically try and pop up in the tripod and see if we can't take down this giant buck because he doesn't seem interested in coming to the call. In fact, he's actually spooked from the call, even though we're in full cover and completely concealed. All right, guys, the tripod is less than 30 yards away from us here. It is right there. As soon as we get in it, we're going to be within about 30 yards from this giant buck. Actually, hopefully 40, because otherwise he might spook. I don't know if he's going to spook or not from trying to get in this tripod. I really have never had this opportunity where I've had a giant buck like this so close to the tripod, but I guess we're going to find out. Wander off, bear. Mind your own business. Come on, come on. This game is something else. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I still have yet to see that other big buck. However, since this buck is coming past us here, we're going to have to take him down. We have a bad wind anyway, so... So we'll smoke him. And it's not going to ruin the zone on this side. Because our giant buck is on the other side. And I think... Yeah, we're fine. We're definitely fine. I haven't seen him in so long. I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried if we're ever going to see that buck again. Unless... Oh my god. He finally came back. I've been waiting so long for this buck to come back. I've changed the time like four different times now. And he just would not show. But now... He's finally back. All right, now we got to figure out a way to get all the way back over there without spooking all these things here. Another decent buck there, actually. Um, but hopefully they just spook onto the right side of us. And then we'll cross this little crossing here. Come on, keep walking, keep walking. Well, let's grab this buck. That's going to be a 215, double lunged him at 22 yards out. So that's kind of cool. But our giant buck is right over there. All right, there he is right there. Again, we have two more herds of white tail here. We got to get past the first one in order to get to the second one. All right, guys, so we finally just got back in position. We're less than 90 yards away from this giant down potential white tail buck. He's right behind that ridge right there. You can just barely see him. Okay, guys, he's 50 yards away. Right there, perfectly broadside. We're gonna go for the shot. All right, here we go. Fifty yards away. Perfect shot. He's down. Holy, that was one of the longest and toughest hunts that I've had for a giant white tail buck in a long time. But take a look right here at our giant diamond potential white tail buck. What a perfect shot and what an incredible place for him to go down for a picture as well. I think maybe, yeah, that would look pretty cool like that too if we crouch down. All right, enough pictures. Let's pick him up and see how big he's going to be. He's definitely going to be a giant. He's going to score 266 and we double lunged him at 57 yards out with the bow. But we definitely smoked him though. Perfect double long shot at 57 yards. I had a feeling he might not quite be big enough to be a diamond because he was level two. It's super rare to get a level two as a diamond, but I have gotten a couple of pretty nice level two diamond white tails. So we were not gonna pass up this opportunity. And I am so glad we got this buck. And yes, you can guarantee you one thing. That sucker is definitely going in the trophy lodge. Okay, so again, let me show you the location that this is at here. 
yeah right here 1500 until 2130 this is probably my all-time favorite spot for white-tail deer at this present time right now it is just south of the Belmont Railroad outposts there's a peninsula that goes up in here kind of like a bayou and the spot is right here right there and we have our tent actually set up right here and we usually get here around like 1530 that way the bucks have plenty enough time to be on their spot and as you saw we took down a ton of giant bucks right here you thought that last buck was big take a look at the size of this giant white tail we just found here he has an estimate of 250 to 305 score on him and that's him right there another absolute giant white tail buck it's gonna be very very difficult to get this one now he's super super wide well we got another good buck coming in now but I don't know what that was. Definitely no way it was our big buck. Cause that is him right there. Holy 257 to 304 on the estimate on that absolute giant white tail buck. Oh my God, he's huge. Wow. Well, there he is there. He's actually stopped at 97 yards out. And we might go for the shot if I could crouch up. Eighty-nine yards. Ah, uh, he might come closer. He might come closer. Okay, guys, he stopped out there at about sixty-four yards. He's almost in range. If he comes a little bit closer, we're probably gonna take the shot. He's an absolute giant buck. Okay, guys, he's about fifty yards out. I think we're gonna take the shot. I'm gonna turn broadside. I don't like that angle very much. That worked. That worked. That worked. Oh my God! We smoked him. We just smoked him. That's an absolute giant white tail buck. Holy. He had an estimate of 259. What happened to our sound here? There we go. 259 to 305 score on that thing. He's huge. Unbelievable white tail buck there. He's being so, so stubborn. And finally, we took him about 55 yards out and we smoked him. Let's pick him up. That's going to score 269. We double lunged him at 52 yards out. Another just absolute monster white tail. Didn't quite make diamond, but you know what? He's definitely going to the trophy lodge, and what a perfect shot. Whew. Another giant buck down. Wow. Okay, guys, let me show you where we got this giant white tail now. This is a spot where I used to find a lot of giant black tail back when the OG diamond black tail were around. But it's just to the north of Runchy here. There's like a little lake right here. You can't actually see it, but the way I find it is there's a road that kind of hooks right here. And then there's a little hill right here. It goes down. Just go straight this way, uh, straight to the west, about 150 yards. And you'll find right here from 1230 until 1530 is where we just got that giant white tail buck. Welcome back to our trophy ledge, guys. And we did decide to get both of these giant white tails mounted, even though this one didn't quite make diamond 266.5. And over here is our 269 scoring white tail buck. And even though they didn't quite make diamond, they're both absolute monster white tails. And I really couldn't be prouder to be able to take down both these bucks with the bow. What an incredible moment it was. And also the fact that we made 50 yard shots on both of them, perfect double lung shots. And now this spot here, I've seen so many giant bucks, it's not even funny. Um, I think I've gotten two level threes and probably like seven or eight max weight white tail that are 230 to 250 score, all from that one spot uh, just south of the Belmont Railroad outpost there. So make sure you go check out that spot. But also right now, the current time to go there is 1500 at night. So remember that. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, I wish you luck at finding some giant white tails as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.